All right, everyone, welcome back. This is the third episode, um, day two. She just called me to wake up, so I'm gonna pick up the radio and reply to that. Welcome back, guys. I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Oh, got an achievement. Sorry, our problem. Oh. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. Interesting. <laughs> Can I go fix it? Well. You probably can't, but what you can do is hike out to where the wire runs through your area and report back if it's down. <laughs> then I can track down a ranger to get someone on it. Okay. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, of course. So you're going to want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Interesting. So we do our we'll do. going back Thanks, to the Hank. cave. Thanks, Hank. Hank? It's Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. <laughs> but thanks rhymes with Hank. Thanks, Hank. No, it doesn't. Yeah, okay. it doesn't. Okay, alright. Alright, so let's look around here and see... I guess I put things back together last night. Uh... Oh. That's an interesting book. Let's put it down here. Man, this guy does not know how to put stuff down. But, like, guns? A feeling, uh... Okay. Uh, I can't put it back. Glory. Like birds? Oh, I managed to put it up there. Can you see me? Uh, hey, I can see your tower. Suppose that means you can see me. Yeah, well enough. You're in your tower. That I am. Also, you need a new barber. Jeez, do you have the Hubble telescope over there? <laughs> just kidding. You're just a little blob to me. Aw, that's kind of cute. Birds of Wyoming. Oh, this is a different one. Singular Mind. I'm guessing this is like a science book, maybe? Or a psychology? Glory. No idea what this is. What do we have here? National Forest Guidebook. Can't pick it up. Get out of my way. There. Can't pick that up. Thermos, pick it up. Can't drink out of it. We're like testing everything out today. Old s glass cleaner. What's the old Scottish something here? Oh. C scratch cover. Dark wood. Glass cleaner. Can't do anything with it. It's like a fishing line thing. Real. Supplies for two forks. What else do we have here? Water jug, can't interact, dish soap. Oh, I wasn't clicking the dish soap, but okay. Coffee percolator, can't do anything with it. Bleach, probably can't do anything with it. Pine cone. I might have to interact with these things later for like specific tasks. That's what I'm guessing. I don't need the lights. Mug, can I drink out of it? No. Oh, no break, buddy. He's rough. Um, photo with Julia. Aww. Oh, I do have a beard. Okay. Uh, broken clock. Oh, it's broken. Okay. That's why my alarm doesn't work. Fire, I don't know what this is. Probably something to put out fires, like sand or something. Calendar, can't do anything with it. Flora. Oh, this is cool. Blue spruce, cotton wood. Okay, we're not gonna look through that. Um, I guess we go out now. It's windy today. I do wonder if we're gonna see that creepy guy today. Hello, world. This is gorgeous. Like, I, I don't know if I could live out here. You just like to put the hand there. I like that. Um, I, I would like to visit this specific place. That'd be kind of cool. Is this Wyoming or uh, Boulder or Colorado? Where's the outhouse? We have to go towards the outhouse. Can I run? I can. Outhouse over there. Okay, this is where we're going. Back through where we came from yesterday. There we go. A little better. Creepy guy was around here. Oof. It's misty. I don't know what time it is actually. How do I go down? Drop down. 
No, no. What? I thought you were going to climb down, buddy. Huh, good knees. Couldn't that, that, I couldn't do that in real life. My knees are not so hot. Okay, let's not go down that route. This seems to be easier, especially going down. And here we go. Down we go. Um, see the tower's over there. This is where we saw the creepy guy with the flashlight, I think. I have a feeling this is going to break. We're going to jump back and forth once in a while. And then one time, it's going to break. And we're going to fall. <laughs> That's just a feeling. Creepy guy was right over there last time. So if I stop, I don't start running again, even if I was running before. Whoa. I'm loving these effects, the graphical effects. They're nifty. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. Oh, okay. The mornings Boulder. are cold in Boulder, though, right? Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? Oh, let's talk a little bit. Uh, let's talk uh, about the dog. You know, uh, I, I don't know. Just used to spend a lot Isn't of time with our dog, Mayhem. Catch up our Mayhem? dog. Mayhem? What kind of name is that? He was a German Shepherd, big as a truck. So... Why not call him Oh, Chevy? snap. Well, we uh, we walked out of the shelter, and there was some graffiti on a trash can, and it said, Dicko Mayhem. And um, he walked over and peed all over it, and there you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really cute story? It is what it is. I have to go north. Hey, can you hold on a sec? Uh, sure. I'm just going to keep hiking and hoping it warms up. Hey, so... I don't think so. Why, have you? Okay, good. No, I don't think he has any idea. Okay, I'm gonna keep listening. I'm absolutely sure. Would you? Alright, I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. Okay, yeah, that was kind of creepy. She's talking about me, I think. Hey, sorry about that. Anyway, I, I thought about it, and that story is cute, and um... Sorry, but but you said yeah. we? You you owned him with someone? Let's pretend that would be like... my wife, Julia. Oh, like like your wife or like she's taken half my stuff, wife? My wife. But you're here. Oh man. It's not really your business. I'm sorry, but you're the one who brought her up. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Sorry. Whatever. It's fine. Look, I gotta go do a thing downstairs. Um, I'll bring a radio, though. She's annoyed. I don't think we want to screw up our relationship with Delilah, I have a feeling. I don't know if it really matters for anything, but it's just a hunch. Um... It will not break. Um, we have to find something to break in. Maybe we don't even have to go through there. Let's see. Yeah, I don't think we do. We just have to go through where we went yesterday. Okay, better. I don't want to spend more time than I have to here. I'm curious about that freaking call. Delilah, Delilah. What are you doing? Isn't there a song? Like a famous song? Like Delilah? Hey there, Delilah. Yeah, that's what it is. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, who sings that song? I don't remember. I have a pop song. Indie rock, I should say. It's misty as heck. Am I going the right way? <laughs> yeah, I am. I am. I am. Go north. That's what did she, she did say. Go north, but can I talk to her? No. Oh, I do see the phone line. Oh, maybe I should have been looking. Whoa! Oh, from here it looked like a head. 
and like arms. That was creepy as heck, man. Woo. It's kind of crazy how a beautiful, calm, relaxing game like this can creep me out sometimes. I'm definitely not the kind of guy. Can you see the communication wires from where you are? I can see the poles, but I have no idea if the wire is in good shape or not. They run a good distance up to a spot called Beartooth Point. You just need to walk along them all the way up there and make sure everything's in ship shape. Yeah, we still have to go north. So we can take a right or a left here. Beartooth Point goes straight ahead. Basically, I should follow the wire, I'm guessing. I want to see what this thing here is. This used to be an uh, outhouse. Uh, hey, I found a structure that might have been an outhouse once, I think. Whoa, uh, you don't need my permission to go to the bathroom, but, you know, use abandoned shitters at your own peril. I mean, uh, I'm in the right area? Yeah, the wire runs quite a ways north. Just follow it up to the point that I mentioned. Anything I should know about the cabin at the top of this hill? Hello? Okay, then. It's not going to open. Oh, it did. Huh. Found an old hat from a Korean war vet. You'd be surprised how many former service members take this gig. Well, makes sense. I imagine if you've been through war, you probably can't get enough silence. Hmm. This is kind of creepy, I'll tell you that much. So I can go this way? Or not. That is the push. Let's go this way. That cabin is still freaking me out. What the heck? Oh gosh. Alright, I can see a lot of the cable th from here. Okay. So it looks fine. Oh, I think it's broken. Right there. Hey, there the lilac. <sighs> Why must games like this have creepy stuff? I don't like creepy games. I'll tell you that much. Should I go this way? No. Can't go up. It's not really an open world game by any means. And so you kind of have to follow. It's more like, I almost feel like this is the old school games. Like um, there was, there were games like Myst. Um, I don't know if any of you were, are old enough to. Uh... Guess what? What is it? There's a bunch of empty cans up here. Same as before. Yep. These fucking kids. Why do you think they'd be up here? How can these girls... Why do you think they'd be up here? Hell if I know, but they better have stayed away from our communication stuff. Oh. No, I don't think that. It's a long drop. Well, I hopped down a drop, and now I can't climb back up. Hmm, that is a pickle. I, mean, I can just keep hiking, but I figured I should let you know in case I get myself trapped out here. Hmm, how adventurous of you. I've been doing a lot more climbing out here than I expected. Well, keep your radio charged. I'd hate to one day find a skeleton with an orange backpack at the bottom of a ravine. <laughs> All right. Uh, I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. Why do I have a feeling something's going to happen up here? Oh. Boo! I scare you. <laughs> Sorry. Utility pole, end of wire. And beers. Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. That's actually good to hear. I can send someone out to fix it. Good find. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't Beer. look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it. The moment you said you found their trash. Oh, these idiots are gonna pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. 
And then oh. what? Okay. I... I hadn't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Mm. Let's hear it. What oh, yeah? Hell? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out what of them. What is that thing? Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. You guys see that? That's like a cash thing. I don't thing. know. Um, wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. Thanks. But mm. I am going to need a raise. Oh, boy. <sighs> don't hold your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Oh, they're big into Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. See, See if you can find the path they took down from there. Yeah, Maybe I mean, they looped back around that. towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. This guy just jumps these things. I'd probably just climb them down. Seem like big drops. More beer. Like, these beer cans are obviously here to make us think that we're the teenage girls. And to follow them somewhere, and then something else is going to be there, and the mystery ensues. I don't know if they went that way or this way, but I'm going to check out this ledge. Which we don't have a rope to go down. Hmm. I don't see any beer cans around here. Long drop down, which means I can't come back up. Let's check the map, shall we? Find the teens. So, I could go... I can't go back to Cash or towards the, the way I came. I have to follow kind of that um, lighter colored supply drop. Is that where I should go? Or, no, she said back towards the lake. The lake is way over here. So, I should go... I th mm, I'm confused now. Let's try to peek under that... Um, under here and then make a decision from there okay we can go through here I don't know how far I've got an overgrown trail here yeah that'll happen so I'm screwed when it comes to getting past it mm -hmm. screwed until you clear it yourself yeah great well if I come across some tools I'll add groundskeeping to my ever-increasing list Ooh. of responsibilities can I clear it Yeah. Trying to clear it, but I don't. Can't find a way to. Oh. Did I need something to clear it with? Maybe the antlers? That could be it. That could be it. Or something else. Like, I'm clo as close as I can get, I can't clear it anywhere. It doesn't, it's grayed out. Maybe I missed something if I did do make a comment. Um, and I'll try to come back, I guess. I don't know. That's odd. Okay, I guess we're going to have to make that jump and... Uh, maybe that's our way back up to the... Yeah, that, that could be it. Oh, shoot, I want to report it. I can still report it. I gotta tell you, all this climbing and jumping, it's pretty invigorating. Just wait for the rest of the summer when you'll be sitting on your fat ass 14 hours a day. Really? Hmm. Yeah, let's go this way, because it feels like this is wrapping up towards, wrapping around towards the lake. Oh boy, backpack. There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? I want the, no, the, the, the rope. No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. Yes, I need it. Oh, I can take photos. Well, I am flush with ropes now. That pack was full of them, in decent condition, too. That's lucky. Oh, okay. And there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up i think ah oh get this this uh pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras with pictures left yeah he only used three or four neato thank Let's you take a Brian picture goodwin here. wait wait who 
the bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. Ching. Oh, no, no. Anyway, yeah, oh. Brian Goodwin. Shoot, I want to reply. I was stuck in the in stupid... Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? No. You know, hmm. I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. <sighs> what, they couldn't uh, handle your unique brand of charm? So I can leave the ropes now. That's kind of... Unsurprising. Anyway, so it goes. Have uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a photodome employee. I don't know. I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Oh boy. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? <sighs> Jeez, there's a lot of climbing. All right, supply cache. Open one, two, three, four. Copy information. This is always handy. Map updated. Uh, note, take, examine. Guess who's going out with Debbie next week? No, what that beak shit. <laughs> oh, <I said. laughs> that uh, S heel Steve, it's your man Ron. I went up to check on the new guy at Two Forks and heard him talking to himself more than usual for LOs. So I figured I'd stay away. Uh, remember why you s when you saw Chimney Rock having himself in that hammock? Having himself. Ooh. I'm starting to think the Forest Service only picks the deranged and perverted. Oh, come on, guys. Keep. I can hold on to it. Oh, wait. Fossilized. Uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Could be the same person who left that antler. And maybe they're leaving me an entire creature, piece by piece. I want to save it, but I don't want to carry things around. That was a problem that I had with the, with the stereo thing. Got annoying after a while. Let's close it. Okay. Bring out the map. There we go. And go towards uh, the meadow. We'll go down towards those climbing spots to the Thunder Canyon, which is close to home. Um, I kind of want to go back to down here, because I have a feeling that those girls went back to the lake. So I should go south, which is this way. Okay. I can't remember that. Look, just so you know, I didn't mean oh. to overstep my bounds earlier when you brought up your wife. I know you didn't. You were just making conversation. I appreciate it. So, tell me about her, if you want. Hmm. She's a college professor. She's a PhD in biology, evolution and stuff. Evolution. That's a risque subject in these parts. Man, she sounds sexy. She sure was. Where does she teach? Boulder. That's a great school. My cousin went there. Yeah. Mm. Anyway, that's her. Yeah. From this burned section of forest, I have no idea where to go. Their trail is pretty cold at this point. Hmm. You're out by Mule Point. No one would camp out in the fireweed. Well, I want you to stay out there, as a favor to little old me. My pleasure. <sighs> okay, we know these young women are sloppy. They must have left some sort of trail. Hmm. Just basically the game is telling me to find the trail. <laughs> okay, I can run again. Let's just look around. I take it you fell prey to the Forest Service's big recruiting effort? When it comes to, you know, how the hell you ended up out here? I saw the job in the paper and figured, you know, what the heck? What the heck? I've got no ties and no life. Better go spend what's left of it in utter loneliness. <laughs> Something like that? 
Now, thanks to last summer, the bump in Forest Service budget actually allowed for us to advertise for the job. Glad it worked. What happened last summer that accounted for this um, windfall? Jeez. I mean, the federal government almost let Yellowstone National Park burn to the ground? Ring a bell? I hate this. Yellowstone is like, what, 15 miles away? Why would they do that? Well, the short story is that for 60 years, we got very what good at not letting forest fires happen. And then about 15 years ago, they decided that forest fires in wilderness areas like Yellowstone should be left to burn. So that's what they did. I can't believe you didn't hear about this. There were reports that the entire park was gone. Dan Rather telling the country that President Reagan didn't care on the nightly news. Hmm. I mean, what the hell's he going to do? Smoke jump oh. in and snuff one out for the Gipper? That's all like... So what should they have done? Oh, it's I the same. Know. The By the time the Yellowstone though. folks realized the little fires weren't going to burn themselves out, 100,000 acres were gone. It's Yellowstone, you know? People don't want to touch it. But we touch it every single day. But hey, oh, I got a 30 cents an hour raise because we can't have another fiasco. If the goddamn park can burn down again. I see a really thin plume of smoke. Yeah, I see it too. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Campfire? Y you think it's them? I reckon so. Hello? It looks like it's to the southwest of me. No. That's yeah. right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. All right. Keep an eye on that smoke plume. Let me know if it's getting any larger. Will do. Let's do it. Yeah. <sighs> 